Hello everyone, Clifford Bennett, Hearst and Economics again. And what a week it's been. Uh, the week started with um, a lot of the American research houses wanting, to believe, wanting you to believe that Europe was in dire straits again um, and it was the end of the world. And a lot of people thought the Australian share market could, should be sold because of the Queensland floods. Neither have eventuated really. Um, they were a pressure on the market at the start of the week. We expected a strong rally to build towards weekend and we've got it. Um, Dow Jones had a little bit of a small dip last night still very constructive price action for an ongoing bull trend next week. Um, always going to be a little bit of zag as well as zig in markets, of course, but we remain very bullish. You know, the two markets we highlighted at the start of the week are strong buys. Oil and sterling have done very well. Sterling made further gains last night. Oil's consolidating. I wouldn't back out of that oil position. It's going to be a little volatile, but oil's still going to go a lot higher. Sterling, Euro especially, had a really good run last night. It's all about really US dollar weakness. No one really wants to call it that. People will tell you it's because um, you know the bond uh, sales by Spain, Italy, Portugal and Greece were all oversubscribed and, and, at, and at good rates. Um, and certainly that's a factor and it just proves our point that sovereign debt in Europe, huge problem. Sovereign debt in Europe, slowing the European economy, not at all. Because sovereign debt in Europe has nothing to do with private enterprise, which is really getting on with the game in Europe. So we're still ex looking for European growth to accelerate this year. Um, certainly, uh, you know, Germany, 3.6%. It's probably going to kick up to 4 maybe even 4.5% this year. Uh, Eurozone as a whole, I think we'll hit 2.7%, 2.8% GDP this year. US is also accelerating. Uh, China, some people talking about China growth dropping back to 8.5% or something. China's going to stay probably above 9, might even get above 10, 11% again this year. So the demand for our commodities remains intense. So as the waters subside in Queensland and the heartbreaking realities really start to set in, we can expect that state to be um, really slowed economically rather significantly for at least six months, three to six months, probably six months. So that's going to detract from GDP growth. The only silver lining, if you like, is it means that the Reserve Bank has to stay on hold and not do anything, which will give the rest of the domestic economy around the country the opportunity to consolidate and overcome already what are already too high interest rates and just start to build more progressively again. Uh, the export sector is still very strong. The Australian dollar, look where it is. US dollar is weakening again as we forecast. The Australian dollar is about to catapult higher. Um, the euro itself today is really interesting, this 133 30, 133.80 range, building here to go higher again. I think you know, you'll know you see 135, 136 quite quickly for the euro. Um, in the Australian dollar, I'm still looking for 103 as a short-term target. If you haven't been following us for, for long, um, we're still looking for the Australian dollar to hit 108 this year. We've had a target of 108 for 2011 since 2008. So we're not backing away from that forecast. Everything's running according to plan. So we're still looking for further US dollar weakness, further um, Australian dollar strength. Just quickly, um, employment data in the US last night, you know, again, not a great number, but it's all about employment consolidation. Can't say it often enough. It's about the 90% of people who have jobs. Don't worry about unemployment data in the US or payrolls data. Just don't pay it any attention. US economy is going to have a better year as well. The outlook for the Australian economy is great in the second half of the year. First half of the year is quite troublesome, but equity markets are still way undervalued and have a long way to go. Have a great, have a great trading day and have a great weekend.